Now, this is what the good news of God is all about, right? God, the almighty, eternal, sovereign God who created the heavens and the earth, He loves you. He loves you. He made you. You think it's your daddy and your mommy made you, right? But it's really, look how unique and beautiful you are. You know, God made you. He loves you. He made you in His image, right? He has a plan. He put a plan into your life, right? Uniquely, He has a specific purpose for your life. That purpose can only be fulfilled if you walk your life together with God. Apart from God, you'll do a good thing maybe, but you're really not going to make the mark. The Bible says that all of us sin. What is sin? It means that we do our own thing, you know? We do our own thing, and that is sin. And God is holy. He hates sin, though He loves you. He hates the sin. You know, the fact that you do your own thing apart from God, all of that He hates. As a just God, He's, ju he's loving, we establish that, but He's also a just God. So He has to do what He says. And He says that all sin must be punished. You know, there's a consequence of sin, which is death, which means eternal separation from God and all what God stands for. So that is what all mankind deserves, right? Eternal separation from God forever. Meaning none of his blessings, none of his goodness, none of his forgiveness, none of that really. Without God, you walk with a bag of bricks through life, not even realizing it. However, God also loves from the beginning of whenever, right? He set in place that he would bring a redeemer. Meaning, God himself came to earth in Jesus, right? And he placed on Jesus all, this, all these sins, you know, all the shame and all the guilt and all the wickedness and all the disobedience and all the selfishness and all that what mankind messed up, right? And he put it on Jesus, that punishment, right? And Jesus took it upon himself. He didn't have to, but he did, right? And the punishment, he died for us on a cross, right? Having all this guilt and shame and punishment on him, right? he did it for us. And his blood was shed. That alone, if you ever read about his blood and the blood you know, what is the significance of that is just amazing. So Jesus took that upon him and was separated from his father, his dear loving father, because of the sin that he was carrying, you know, our sin, our guilt. Well, how does it relate to me? It really means that now that God put all of this on Jesus and Jesus took it for us and died on our behalf, though he rose again, right, that we can access what God really had for us from the beginning, which is His love, His forgiveness, cleansing, healing, blessings, you know, good things, all this stuff, you know, that God really wants us to live in. The authority, you know, the power, right? Enabling us to be and to become who God wants us to be. That, has, that is now open to us. How? Think about your key ring, right? Every key has a lock that it fits in, but there's only one key by which you can access all that God has for you, and that is by, by accepting what Jesus Christ did for you and saying, Lord Jesus, I bow down my life to you. I bow to you. No longer I upon the throne in my heart, but I need you and I accept you. As, the, as, as my savior, as the one who took my sin and guilt, right? And I give my life to you, no longer myself. I now belong to you. I surrender, surrender. You know, and you know something happens when you do that? Something happens because God says that anybody who believes in their heart and speaks with their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, Jesus enters by His Spirit, you know. He is in heaven. I don't know where heaven is, but yeah, He sent His Spirit, right? And He will, He will come and dwell in you, live in you forever. And then you belong to Him, and you are born of the Spirit. And that's a different life, totally different 
you're entering into a new culture, a better culture, a better life with purpose. And it sets you on an eternal path, right? On earth you walk with God and you eventually will see him face to face. It's amazing. Just think of how Adam and Eve used to walk with God in the garden. They just walked and talked with God, had conversation, you know. That same power will help you, will help me, right, to be and to become who God wants us to be. I think that's the good news, right? Yeah.